Ladies and gentlemen, aunts and uncles, granny and grandpa, can I extend a really warm welcome to this year's Nativity with a difference. Uh, obviously because of the social distancing, we haven't been able to stage it in the way we would normally do. So we've adapted and we've made a feature length film for you. Um, the boys have been such a pleasure to work with. We've had such fun doing it. And both Mrs. Powell Harper and the staff and I have been really impressed with the way they've adapted and got used to a new way of working. I hope you enjoy it, and more importantly than that, I hope you all have a really lovely, happy Christmas. Thank you. to our nativity. This special story begins in Nazareth. But before we tell you that story, we would like you to meet a friend of ours. You can usually hear him going down the old roads and crown entertaining the town's folk. I hope he stays up for longer. He he he. He he is the most famous funky in Nazareth. Drum roll please. It's funky, funky, funky. the song, Honky Tonky Donkey. Yes, Plus in the One. We'd love to hear another one of your fabulous tunes. I can't. Why not, Feeling Horse? You've got the legs for it. I've got writer's block. What do you mean you have writer's block? That tune is fantastic. Perhaps you need a little inspiration. You mean a brainwave? You mean a microwave? Have those been invented yet? No, not a microwave, a brainwave. 
Honky Tonky Donkey felt confused. What is a brainwave anyway? And what is this thing they talk of inspiration? Perhaps you can have a look on Google. I hear it's very good for finding any information you need. I think you are stuck in the wrong century, my friend. We don't have microwaves or Google yet. Does Google have something to do with your eyes? Googly eyes? I've never heard of that term before. Ooh, I think I may become an inventor. Now going back to you, honky tonky donkey. Honky tonky donkey really wanted to write a new song, but he decided that he needed to live on his hat. There must be somewhere where he could find some fantastic ideas. When will you get your light bulb moment, honky tonky donkey? No, eat or idea. Honky tonky donkey sat down by the roadside and scratched his head, but he wasn't letting him and he stood up with a start. What was that noise? The swords are coming, the swords are coming. I hope we're not in trouble. Attention! Attention. You must all go to your hometown to be camp. Go to my hometown, any excuse to visit my mum and dad, I am in. Yes, by order of the king, all people need to return to the hometown. They need to make sure we leave at once. When Honky Donkey Donkey heard the soldiers, he knew immediately what he must do. He must go to another town, but which one? We're going to Bethlehem. So are we. You better hurry. You don't want to get stuck in traffic. You know how busy the streets of Bethlehem could be in rush hour. Come everybody, get moving. Yes, yeah, come along. Stop dilly jallying. We don't have all day. We have to get home too, you know. Do you think we'll be able to get to Camel Caravan at this time of evening? Oh yes, I'm sure we will. Camel Caravan Taxi has a new app. I've just downloaded it onto my phone. Many of the villagers had to go to Bethlehem to be counted, but Honky Tonky Donkey knew exactly where Bethlehem was. How exciting! He thought it must be a sign. But there was something much more exciting that he didn't know about yet. Among all the villagers going to Bethlehem, there were two very special people called Mary and Joseph. And Mary was expecting a very special baby. We're going to Bethlehem too. Would you like to take us? I could do with a lift. It is a long way and the little chip is getting so big. Why not? Honky donkey donkey, I'll eat all service. <laughs> Let me take care of your drum. Do you think look star the honky donkey grandma may make us out comfortable ready for the long journey? Could they stop rest? I'm exhausted. Growing a baby is hard work. Well, will we get there? There, there, dear. Should have been much younger now. Honky, donkey, donkey can see some shepherds in the distance. They had a lovely big fire and were
was sure that they would share it. Did you hear that? What's that noise? I hope it's not a wolf. Do you think the sheep are all right? It's a donkey. A donkey out here at this time of night? Why would a donkey be here? That is strange. How do shepherds come and join you? It's a talking donkey. Am I seeing things? Wait, let us put our glasses on. Oh gosh, you're right, it is a talking donkey. You, I thought I was seeing things. There are two people with them. They look like they are friendly and just need a rest. Come and sit by the fire. You're welcome to join us. Thank you so much. We do need a rest. Yes, we do. Are there any wolves out tonight? No, we keep the fire going, mate. Lots of noise. Up a few more logs of wood on. What sort of noise? We like to have a good chat, but prefer singing mainly. And honky donkey donkey, pack their things and all the magical merry they have made. They say goodbye to the kind and gang shepherds that set off on their journey towards the town of Bethlehem. Those shepherds join you out to party. Indeed they did, donkey, indeed they did. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Mm, that can make quite a catchy song. Ha, ha, ha. Hey donkey, you are so funny. I hope you get to Bethlehem for the night sky time. Oh, I'm ever so tired. Not long now, Mary, not long at all. As they reached the town of Bethlehem, Honky Donkey Donkey began to get very, very, very excited. There were so many people and there was so much to see and to smell and to hear. He got the tall people, smaller people, old people, young people, people laughing, people working, people eating, people drinking. There were people everywhere. That was an old honky tonky donkey could sit the children singing Christmas carols. Bethlehem was the clear little place to be. 
Honky Tonky Donkey will sort of find his inspiration here for a new song. He can feel the rhythm you can see his legs all the way up to his neck. Maybe he would want to hear what he was here. Maybe a bestseller or Christmas number one. Maybe one of those timeless songs you sing in school nativities that everyone loves. The only problem that all of the indoor pools there was literally no space anywhere. Honky Tonky Donkey wanted Mary and Joseph to find him and quickly so he can start working on his new song. But he also had a kind heart and wanted Mary and Joseph to find somewhere safe, not very loud, like a large indoor. Maybe a good sing song and a dance would help, and there are animals in the stable to join in with him. How we fell when friends did him bunch of good knees. Yeah, my knees have half breath. He did. Move all the way, naughty upon me. I'll be in a right up if you don't dance the night away. You too, too, sheep. It won't be every day we get special visitors like these. Donkey, donkey, donkey was so happy to have an animal who could inspire him to write a new song. 
I'm not Donkey Donkey Donkey. Mary and Joseph were so exhausted they were already down to the sea. They knocked the, the animals and Donkey 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 began their jambo race. began to wake up. Honky Tonky Donkey got up and rubbed his eyes. I had a very funny dream. I had a baby crying. That was a very funny dream. <laughs> yeah, a very funny dream. There's no baby here. What a silly dream. Yes, a very silly dream. There is a baby. Look in the manger. Honky Donkey Donkey couldn't believe his eyes. There really was a baby and he was lying in the manger. He, he hadn't been singing at all. Honky Donkey Donkey couldn't take his eyes away from the beautiful baby in the manger. He knew at that moment nothing so quite important important or wonderful everybody could see that something special was happening
But the surprises didn't stop there. Somebody was coming to the stables. It was the shepherds. There's an angel. I nearly jumped out of my skin. Bulge. Bulge. We got good news. The angel told us about the baby. A very special baby. Then three noble kings arrived and gave great gifts. Oh my hoof oh my back is sore. I both love the baby. We have come to see the new walk in. We found the star. The star brought us to the stables. Angels and kings, but honky tonky donkey already knew this was no ordinary baby. So now he knew exactly what his song should be about. This is Jesus, son of God. He was with us, spread life through the world. 